What do you know about Dr. Clark? We know that Clark was the chemical engineer who formulated... <coughs> Don't you morons get it? If you think your government-sponsored brutality intimidates me, you clearly don't know anything about Dragon Age. I have nothing to gain by talking to you. Think about what you have to lose. Do this all day. We got plenty of windows. All you can give us what we want, and we guarantee you're safe. I'm already a dead man. I've been hunted across every corner of the globe. If you found me so well, they, they know everything you know. They're probably on their way now. Why? Dragovich doesn't like your sense. I've never even dealt with him directly. Only Steiner, the German. What was the nature of your business? I was hired to help stabilize some volatile compounds. What kind of compound? Nova 6. Biochemical. Let them right to me! I'm well prepared for a dead man. Just because I accept the inevitability of my fate does not mean I'm in any hurry to embrace it. Whatever you say, English. Okay, come on me!
weapons and ammunition. Grab what you need. ID the Nazi scientist working for Dragovich. His name's Steiner. We're going to Russia, Mount Yamantov. The Jason Hudson briefed you on the intel extracted from Dr. Clark at Kowloon. Hudson said that Clark was insane. Paranoid. Vokuda. Reznov told me at Vokuda. What did he tell you? Mason. Listen to me. It was a long time ago. Far away. My father was a musician in Stalingrad. During the German occupation, the sound of his violin filled the air with magnificent music. Corsico, Stasov, many of the great nationalist composers. To my countrymen, it was a symbol of hope. To the Germans, it was a symbol of defiance. Even now, his music still haunts me. The Nazis slit his throat while he slept. Collaborating with any Nazi is a betrayal, a betrayal against all of Mother Russia. Dragovich, Krasinko are not troubled by such matters. They look only to advance their own interests in the Everything is loaded. They are waiting. Victor, it is time. Yes, Dimitri. Time to hunt down the last remnants of the fascist right. Nevsky, grab the gear. They are moving out. The men and I have fought through the most bitter of winters on the Eastern Front. We were no strangers to call, but even now. The blood in my veins chills when I think back to the events of that day. Ah! The hero of Berlin graces us with his presence. 
Have you not tired of battle risk? As long as Mother Russia has enemies, I will answer her call. Put aside your petty rivalry, Kravchenko. Captain Reznov will do as he is told. We are here for one German, and one German only, Dr. Friedrich Steiner. This man has offered his cooperation to our cause. He is not to be harmed. Disobey this order, and you will be shot. Stalingrad, between you and Dragovich. When the German occupation began, he and his laptop, Trachenko, left my men and I hopelessly outnumbered. Promises of reinforcements were made. Made, but not kept. Dragovich and Trachenko are opportunists, manipulators. They are not to be trusted, Dmitry. Dmitry Petrenko was one of the bravest men I have ever known. He fought by my side from the siege of Stalingrad to the fall of Berlin. The wounds he sustained ensuring our victory should have earned him a hero's welcome to Russia. But Stalin had little need for heroes. The German must not be harmed! We need Steiner alive! Now move! Both of you! Let's go! It is good to fight by your side once more. Yes, my friend. One final victory. So let's get the corner of this camp. Holy Stein! Don't be spared. Hurrah!
We must be getting close to Steiner. He will be where all cowards reside. As far away from the battlefield as possible. After this mission, do you think we will go home? I hope so, Dimitri. I hope so. <laughs> Do not point that weapon at me, Russian dog! You will take me to Dragovich. As I looked into the German's eyes, I saw the fascist mic is still burning strong. At that moment, every fiber of my being yearned to put an end to his wretched life. But I was a soldier then. I still believe in orders. Reznov, bring your men! What is here that is so important? General Dragovich wishes to make a name for himself. He believes this outpost houses something of great value to the motherland. Dragovich and Steiner are talking like old friends. I do not like this, Reznov. No, I... You must hurry! The no. Germans will soon as he destroyed and captured. You assured me there would be no problems. I cannot control the actions of the SS, General Dragovich. They are sworn to defend the right till their last breath. Noble, but futile. Dravchenko, finish up here. Reznov, you and your men will lead the way. Yes, sir. Petrenko, Nikolev, Tetsky, Bolo. We are moving out. Steiner, tell me more about your association with the Gift Tiger Stone Project. In 43, if you all realize the Allies could not be held back for much longer. We began to look for more unconventional solutions throughout the war. My own research was focused on chemical weapons. It was meticulous and frustrating work. However, what we finally developed was a weapon more effective than we had ever dared to imagine. The weapon now housed within this vessel. Nova 6. effective your Nervo 6 chemical may be, you still had to find a way to unleash it. Long-range V2 rockets to be launched from this outpost. The targets were command and control centers. Washington DC was our first target. Then Moscow. Hmm. Ambitious and commendable, Stein. But we were too late. The British were upon us and their bombers crippled the ship. Locked in the ice, we tried to salvage what we could, but it was too late. Germany had surrendered and a Russian flag flew over Berlin. The SS had orders to destroy the ship if we were attacked. Clearly, they failed. The explosives were near up. This is it. Reznov, open the door. <laughs> we had found what we were looking for. Moffat six. The German weapon of mass destruction now belong to Mother Russia. Or so it seemed. Our victory was to be short-lived. 
Dragovich wanted to see the effects of the poison firsthand. It was also an opportunity to remove a thorn in his side. I had long known of their distrust. What kind of men they were. It was a betrayal. I should have foreseen. The new treatment drink was a hero. He deserved the hero's death. Instead of giving his life for the glory of the motherland, he died for nothing, like an animal. He should have died in Berlin. As I watched my closest friend die, it became clear we were not the only ones seeking the German weapons. The Western Allies circled like vultures. Of course, Dragovich, Kroshenko, and Steiner scattered like rats, leaving me to contend with the British. British commandos assaulting our positions! Yeah. 